do in fact need X2 frontline and support. Grand record must be made. Well, at least one frontline and one support. That would be nice. I mean, this guy's gonna, this guy's gonna pick fucking Nova, and we're gonna lose. So that's fine. You don't, you don't really need anything, so to speak. I mean. Last night I won a game handedly going three one and one, like three backline, one support, one tank. So Yeah. Like I mean, it's totally doable. And even, as long sure, as what you really but... should think about it is you need initiation. Like you need a way to get on top of them that doesn't sacrifice everything you have. That's usually what tanks are good for, right? That's why you pick tanks, is so that you can start a fight. But the same could be said for, like, flanking. Like, if you just flank around on most teams, right, you'll start the fight because they can't run and they have to go in. Like, they have to pick. Uh, I don't know. You're looking pretty good, I think. With every death comes on us. Like, they should have a hard time bursting anyone down with the... Uh, Lately here. Oh, that's pretty good. With any like luck. That. That's really not that bad. That's pretty decent. Yeah. It's just a matter of... It, it could be a lot play. worse. Yep. It, it comes down way more to the people can play. Yeah, can you play? Because, I mean, you're in gold. You're not in, like... You're not at the elo I was at where <laughs> we picked single tracer, double bad support, <laughs> double tank, and literally could not... Yeah, Kill we're anyone. not at the level Higher where the enemy game. team is going to exploit it's gonna, our like, weaknesses It's going to abuse your as weaknesses, yeah. It's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I had that game last night. I think you were still there for that. It was just like, oh god, fuck. Yeah, well, I was I was here for that, because there was some much uh, wailing and gnashing of teeth. And yeah. <laughs> as... Was I a Jabberwock? <laughs> Much wailing the claws, and that bite, the jaw, or the jaws, that bite, the claws, that catch. The jaws, the bite, the claws, that catch. I, but I'm glad that I only had, like, three terrible games. That was fine. And I almost won one of them. Like, the almost brought it back from three terrible. keeps down. That's when you know you're in a fucking Masters game and people, like, flip it on. You go down three keeps, you proceed to win the objective, win the boss, win the objective, win the next boss, win the objective, and if your teammates just hadn't been retarded, you would have won. Like, god, we killed that script. It was 100% my fault, too, because I picked their Rainer, then I picked their Stukov, then I picked their Asmodan, then I picked their Rainer <laughs> with fishing hook stitches. It was just like, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna make this one happen. What build are you going away? Oh, you got to that. That's so sick. Oh, I think you probably could have jumped that to Haka. Are you going, yeah. uh... I'm going, uh... Cocktails? Cocktail. Yeah, that's a good build. You guys, your poke is going to be so gross. Yeah. Raven's actually a pretty damn good build. No quarter. So... You have a good time here because you can just wave clear and poke at the same time. Once he gets low, you can just melee him to fucking death. It's okay. Not that you don't already know all this, I'm just kind of. I don't know. Since I'm here, I'm like half coaching. <laughs> fine, fine with So don't be afraid to grab camps. Remember, you are gray main. You can just do that if it's available as a solid option. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just fucking bounce that kid when he gets that low. Like you're at full health. Just in like Warg and Form gives you armor. If he walks in like that, and you you have that much like of an HP difference. To beat the Liddy shit out of him. It is time to strike. 
I'll always prioritize minions first. Yeah. So there's always that. No quarter. Oh, that was a little bit longer range than I thought it would be. I shall bury you. That was much appreciated. That was actually really well played. I mean, you could have maybe minimized damage off of a D.Va hit, but it's yeah. pretty, pretty negligible misplay in the end. You got a three for one. You got both towers on the top side. No, that's hella good. So far, it actually hasn't looked that bad. No, definitely not. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> well, this is just like a little thing that I actually noticed too playing. I mean, yeah, like if you're going to do a camp in Morgan form, you have to walk like just a little bit extra to dodge those stupid things. That's actually something I noticed last night <laughs> playing Grimmin on this map. All I would say is like the general like dodging of things just doesn't exist so people just like screw themselves. Like people are getting hit by all the all the KTA over here. That's been like the biggest mistake that I've Say ah about that thing. Ah, oh man. Well, I was going for the. Uh, oh, now I see it. Oh, now I see the bright wing. Oh, that's unfortunate. I did that actually in a game yesterday as Murdered, where I let somebody out with one HP like that, and I had the same reaction. <laughs> Sweet baby G. Pretty much. Oh. oh, you don't get it, you don't get it like that. I mean, this map is the most balanced map in the game. There's always a good chance to come back. I just need to wait to go in. Yeah, I'm going in too hard and then taking all my health and damage. Like, if you had waited like three seconds before jumping the back line, they would have been committed to your, like, Nubarak to the left. Probably use some spells too. To I'd sure. also say that you don't really use uh, well taps that much. Not that you would have really been able to tap and then go back in in that particular instance, but. You've been low twice and you pull back both times, and you've got as well tap to stay on the map more EXP, more camp potential, more whatever.
It's just like a, a small potential increase of unmappiness. Go for it, bro. Nah, the nerf to color spoil it hit pretty hard, and it's really like you need the, some tank busting, or like you have to require tank busting in my eyes. Like, I used to. In order to justify yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, like, if you're really working front to back, you. like that Grey Man Jane game we played the other day, when I went cursed. <laughs> But here, like, you've had no problem just walking up to their back line and jumping on them. So now you have the potential to just maul them. Well, not the best Hanzo arrow, but it did get him off the point. Gosh, they're in terrible positioning. Holy shit. Oh, that's so free. Come on. For the Lich King. Uh, 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 you look like you're fine right now. Dude. What? I think you had the uh the chance to queue and then tumble for like slightly more dismiss. Not not that it ended up mattering, but can we get bottom? Yeah, you got one and they got one, I think. Provided they actually get this one here. Spark. Oh, that was bad. Let's play. Oh no, he's gonna come to get you in. I don't know, the only misplay in that entire sequence is you know, two Doctor's backwards. Yes. That's the misplay that I was talking about. Alright. I was like, when I hear misplay, I think of like, you really have to read this shit. Like, the kind of stuff where it's like, well, we lose the game. <laughs> Not not putting in a couple of cocktails is like, eh, it's a misplay, but it's also not like the worst shit ever. You actually ended up getting gold costs and like yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, uh... Your play has been quite nice actually. I'd say that you're spending too much time in mid. You could have gone up top and got camped up on the left side. When you hit like post 10, camps, fights, boss, pushing as a unit, all of that is more important than getting waves. Like waves is just generally the least important thing you can do with your time post 10. I mean, if there are no camps, right, and there's nowhere to push, then obviously don't do those things. <laughs> Oh, that dude is so bone. I hope that dude has Astro insurance because he is so bone. No quarter. Your aid is well tied here. I know he used to have died. They're really running at you in like a fucking fire universe street. Your nets ready to jump into the fray. Oh, small in general thing. Once you use the first cast, since you only have one other free cast, more often than not, just immediately blowing it. Is like, it? Oh, okay. yes. Like unless you need it to do like some some giant reaching play where you're gonna like jump in claw. Go for the throat, claw, tumble back, jump for the double distance, right? Unless you're gonna do that, then just gouge. Just get the damage. Cause it's the same amount of damage, it's just not gonna reset, but it's not gonna reset anyway, so fuck it. That's a good question. Take 
and bolster our ranks. Most assuredly. Orgildeus! Like the way, I don't know what your your thought process is, but right, when you went up to stop the Haka, you shouldn't think like you're going up for soap. You should think of it as my ability to stop the Haka. Right, you're getting soap, but it's negligible. It's not wire. Just in case that was your thought process. My thought process is going for going up to Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, your thought process not not being in your brain. Your thought process could have been, I'm coming up here to soak, right? Which is which is like not the way you should think about it, and that yeah. might be why you prioritize or something. So I was just trying to uh, yeah. offer a unique version. Oh, I didn't get the reset. No, no reset. Missed it like five hundredths of a second. <laughs> I am so low on fucking everything. Tap, yeah, you tap up. Yeah. You could have tapped mid as you, uh, as you ran up if you just tapped mid. Did you mean a place to tap as in, like, a time to tap, or a literal place to tap? L like, a literal, like, on my way place to tap. Because if you had meant time to tap, I would have said that it's not about time to tap, it's about your team waiting for you to tap, and not about when you can tap around your team. Mm -hmm. So, again, possible misconception. Oh, well, you're at least almost stacked. I've been more in Morgan form. Oh, there's the fight. You see how you're like a little late to this fight? Could you just clear that extra wave? Like, gotta get these like shitty rights. Oh, I think you're uh, being CC'd there, Tony. Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> oh, I also lagged right there pretty hard. When you turn that corner, I would have recommended jumping to the minion, getting the ward, and queuing down for the distance that the Haka couldn't have reached you. You just kept running. I didn't realize you were chasing me, so that's why I didn't. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Already but I'd also say, late. like, the fact that you stayed to clear three minions is, like, actually huge, right? Because by the time you got there, Kael'thas is already under siege by two people, the rest of your team is fighting. Like, you're just there late. Like, two minions. Not as important. There are even times where you'll be like clearing a camp and you have one minion left with one health and it's literally better to just stop doing the camp at the end of the fight because the fight is uh, not enough. You're like, but it literally is only four more seconds. And it's like, but four seconds could be two people dead. <laughs> it's not like two people dead for a camp if it works no matter. Eating kills on the shit so hard. Yeah. No, that, like I said, I think, I honestly think that is the reason is people are just dead. Because it's like, no, it's not my fucking use at all, you piece of shit! Oh, I just saw that. It's unfortunate, but. Oh, she was like underneath him. Retribution is at hand. She was just. A little bit behind. No, like the general rotations aren't bad, and people are like, they're going places, maybe not the fastest places, but the fighting is fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. Like, people do not dodge at all. There's a whole lot of them. Um, Eating, he just eating damage to the fucking face that you can just walk away from. Well, not you, I'm, I'm speaking in general so, so, on both sides. Oh, oh, this is good. 
this is looking pretty decent. Oh! Aww! Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Go swing. Yeah. Swing bad Look at that swinging. No Who cares if you can't see? Down. Just beat the shit out of them. <laughs> That's one of the things that happens isolation all the time. Like, do I swing or do I run? And I think in most situations, it's just keep swinging. Yeah. It's like, who knows what you'll hit, but if you swing, you'll at least do something. I like basic human attack splash. Yeah. I just don't feel like triple reset him. is like consistent enough and I don't think, feel like Worgen Cleave is big enough to actually hit multiple people. I fight for well, you got all three of your things in bottom and you capped mid for five, it so if you do bottom, you strike. That's how you got done, Carter, if that was your choice. No, no. I think I was asking why people were still doing, like, bottom, even though we had already gotten Already turned stuff in. Yeah, already gotten the things in. It is time to strike. A tower has been. I shall bury you. I fight for my cause. Uh, so I think the high brain play here. Looking at this situation, probably would have been to just defend bottom though. Because you're giving them uh, XP. XP to 20, yeah. And I'm not entirely convinced that they would have made it to 20 by the time the next thing spawns, so. At this point, yeah. I mean, you're already there, so. Oh god, here, here goes the possible throw pit! say what went on since I didn't see the back side of the fight I can't speak yep. to what the fuck happened but like I'm really surprised you lost that as well actually well actually I mean it was a three for one so it really wasn't a loss yeah so, <laughs> the right. ultimate disrespect oh my god are they gonna cap it while he's in the thing <laughs> He has to just sit there and watch it. Dude, my loss on Towers of Doom was the bad draft. We got team wiped. And they... They, they uh... Like, five capped us. Then got bought. And then the towers were spawning. While we were all dead, we just had to sit there and wait. And then all the towers spawned. And then they capped all the towers. And they sent mercs through. They did all of that to take us down from like 18 all at once because we lost one fight and like everything lined up for them. Yeah. It was just like, oh my god. Gave them like the perfect amount of damage and we're all just like, hey, we rezzed as we got hit to the core. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like having watched that game and hearing last game, I don't think your ELO is actually that fucking sucker, which is kind of nice. I mean, it is gold. Yeah. But yeah, no, I'd say that pe people are went to the right spots, but they could not dodge shit to save their souls. Like, KT lit up people that shouldn't he should not have been allowed to do damage to. <laughs> that, that was like, oh, God. I know, I was just watching people carry the bomb around. I'm like, they carry the I'm bomb around, KT, like... When I'm playing KT, I'm like, oh. ha, ha, ha. But watching it happen <laughs> to my team, I'm just like, oh, my God. <laughs> or like side. he'll just put he'll put down like the small flame strike and people just walk on. It's like yeah, I'm gonna walk onto this shit. And you're like why? And then they'll walk back on for the double and you're like oh my god. Yeah. 
literally like, like passed the, the bomb, double. got, got wow. hit by the double, and then walked back over to the guy with the bomb, got hit by his individual bomb, and died. You're just like, oh my god. Like, you're in the right spot, generally doing the right things, but your inability to dodge damage is literally holding you back from being on main stage. But at the same time, it's actually...